Good evening and welcome to News 10 Night Watch. In the past, we've told you about the new federal health care law and how small business and local governments have been hit. The next area affected by the law could be education. As News 10's Matt Gregory learned, this week the new law forced cuts in Vigo County School Corporation. He has more in tonight's Health Watch 10. The Affordable Care Act has had its proponents as much as it's had its opponents. In the last few months, we've heard different stories from private and government employers on the cuts they've had to make. However, in Vigo County, some of those cuts will come at the cost of education. So what we had to do the other evening at the board meeting was to cut workers' hours to below 30 because we cannot afford to offer health care to every employee. Superintendent Tanus says he saw the health care storm brewing. And you may wonder how much it would cost the Vigo County School Corporation to provide health care for every employee that works above 30 hours. The answer, six million dollars a year. And we're not like business and industry who can sometimes raise, uh, raise the cost of their product. Uh, to cover the cost of health care. However, the school corporation did not want those part-time employees to lose money. With the cuts to hours, the school board approved pay increases for those workers, ensuring the employees bring home the same money as they did last year. But that also means the cuts to hours will really hurt another group, students requiring special attention. Then you have to have someone come in and fill in, and that poor student who has all kinds of medical conditions now has to have someone else come in and get used to their face, their, their way of and it's just not fair. Superintendent Tanus told us he's actually brought these issues to Washington, D.C. himself. In the spring, he testified before the Internal Revenue Service to bring issues just like these to light. He said he's not heard back from the commission on their findings just yet. Back to you. The school corporation said these cuts to hours also keep them from making cuts to the staff. Well, so